Okay, uh, we're at verse 5 in Romans chapter 10. It says, Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law or the Torah. Uh, the man that does those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaks this way. Do not say in your heart who, sh who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Mash Mashiach or Messiah down from above. Or who will descend into the abyss, that is, to bring Messiah up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart, that is, the word of faith, which we preach. That if you shall confess with your mouth, now your English translation here would say the Lord Jesus. But the original text would have read that if you shall confess with your mouth, Yahusha Mashiach, that's the Hebrew for the Messiah, Yahusha Mashiach, Messiah. It says, if you shall confess or acknowledge with your mouth, um, let's see where it is, I lost my place here, that, uh, and believe in your heart. And of course, your English translation says that God has raised him from the dead. We know that Yahuwah is our creator. And that's his name that's been edited out of our text. But anyway, it says, For for what the heart man believes, uh, that Yahuwah has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. This is the requirement for salvation, is that you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. In other words, the acknowledgement of what you believe, you acknowledge that you know with your mouth, that Yahusha uh, died for your sins, and that he was raised from the dead by the Father, and that if you would acknowledge him and believe in your heart, you believe that. In other words, it's not a head belief. It's not just a, oh, oh yeah, I believe that he you know, was raised from the dead. No, you truly believe that with your whole heart, that Yahuwah raised him from the dead. It says, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes under righteousness. And with his mouth, confession is made unto salvation. In other words, the, uh, it starts with a belief in your heart. You believe it, and then you acknowledge with your mouth. And once a person acknowledges Yeshua, Yahusha as their Savior, uh, they, by, by acknowledging that, they're expressing their, what they believe in their heart, and the scripture says right here that your confession is made unto salvation. <clears throat> For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between the Jew and the Gentile. For the same Yahuwah over all is a rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name, of course your English translations here are going to say the Lord, but we know Lord is, the word Lord here has been used as a sub substitution for the name of the creator, Yahuwah. And in fact, it's very easy to prove this, this verse here. It's, it's, Paul is quoting from Joel chapter 2, verses 38 and 39. And if you look this up in a concordance, you'll find that Yahuwah's name is what appears here, not the word Lord. So what he actually says is, whoever shall call upon the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. And then he says, how shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless he be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news of, of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. This is the message of the gospel right here, is to proclaim that Yahusha was, 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 uh, is our sacrifice, that Yahuwah that Yahu raised him from the dead for our sins, for our justification. And if you believe that, acknowledge that with your mouth, you shall be saved. This is the good news of the gospel, the free gift of eternal life, not by works of righteousness, but which we have done, but again, it's according to his mercy, and if you believe what he said, 
Yahuwah will impute his righteousness unto you and I, and he will not impute sin unto us. In other words, he won't hold sin against us because once you're born again, all sin has been forgiven, past, present, and future. And you're a new, now a new creature in Messiah. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. <laughs> Again, we're talking about the man on the inside, the man you cannot see. If you're truly born again, you are a new creature in Messiah. And that's why to be absent from the body is to be present with Yahuwah. Because once, once a person leaves this natural realm that's truly born again, uh, he's already perfected in the realm of the spirit. There's nothing that needs to take place. There's nothing that has to take place in the realm of the Ruach. And we're waiting for those for the redemption of our physical bodies, which will happen at the rapture, both the dead that have died before us and those that are alive on this earth, those that remain that are that are that have been truly born of the Ruach HaKadesh. At that time we will receive the completion of our redemption, the redemption of our bodies. Thank you for listening today, and uh, thanks for all your uh, encouragement. Please share these with others again, and until next time, shalom.